Great. I just wanted to get on early and make sure that everything was working. Um, and this is my punishment for trying to do the right thing. No, you That's did the right thing. I just... Um, It looked more like an, uh, an award than anything. I don't know if that like, qualifies uh, as an award. It was really uh, unsettling. Um, I didn't get the honor of having my webcam recorded without me knowing. <laughs> yeah, I, I really, uh, I really don't like. Well, that. when you put it that way, wow! I'm sorry. <laughs> Does, yeah, it's. Uh, I meant it more as a jest on TJ, but I realized it was <laughs> a little creepy. <laughs> well, a lot of oops. creepy. Oh well. Let's see here. I mean, I look, am, you walked I'm into my territory. It was like food. I invited you over for dinner and you were hanging out in my house and I was videotaped. Yeah, that's still probably weird. <laughs> yeah, you're not, <laughs> not helping your case. <laughs> you come into my bathroom, you don't realize that the teddy bear has a camera <laughs> no. in it. Yeah, it's, but it's, you're in my the teddy bathroom. Bear with the camera is inside of the toilet. Like no, I say it's... all this in court. He was in my <laughs> bathroom, though. <laughs> Fine. What I do in the privacy of my hotel bathroom is my business and the business of my OnlyFans audience and nobody else's. That's right. No, that's not right. I don't know. There's something very wrong with whatever we're talking about. So, yeah, let's get back on topic. On. We've been talking about bathroom <laughs> cameras instead of playing this D and D game. Yeah, what happened to us? What even happened to us, you guys? Okay, so you guys go inside. <laughs> You guys go inside this bar with your three new friends. <laughs> oh, what are you guys doing in town? What are you uh, What are you up to? There's like nothing to drink. What does anyone do anymore? Uh, well, we we got deputized recently, and we were looking for crime to solve. Whoa. <laughs> Except for Neve. Neve wanted to do bad, bad things to everyone. Oh. We also made this game up called hockey. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and we're playing hockey. We're going to start a hockey team. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of person. Uh, getting into bad things, I mean. Uh, well, you guys are going to play hockey? What is this? Hockey? Wait, 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 wait a second. Insert, 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 you just said? Rules about hockey. Huh? <laughs> oh, you guys are good. Uh, what, what do you got other than this fucking milk that I can drink? <laughs> Um, where's the thing? Why is it not do? Why no do? Do, Ugh. please do. Please do. Do or else. Okay. Eat or die. Did. Did. I'm, look, you can, uh, you can drink this, the bottom of this wine that freaking Scython had been chugging out of. But it's probably all backwash. Yeah, all right. <laughs> give me that. I don't give a fuck. Whoa! These guys are bad ass. She, yeah, <laughs> she she gets she hands over the bottle and Scython's like, "Hey, is that my that's my bottle. What the who? Fucking nightmare." You guys seemed so nice yesterday. And Scython storms <laughs> out. Scython runs out of the place at the sight of her giving away his, damn it, his bottle. Oh, hi, Slippy, he says. No, he doesn't. Slippy's invisible. So, um, naturally, what are you guys doing? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to strike up a conversation with these guys and ask them why they are in town. Um, uh, so just a little bit of business, a little bit of hush hush, no big deal. We're just relaxing until the time comes. Well, I, I like crime. I like doing crime. Can you tell me what your <laughs> business is? You, you were um, just saying the opposite, but I. Well, <laughs> I appreciate your, your sense to appeal to me. Uh, what? Here's here's the thing to remember, though. All cops, really at their hearts, are just criminals using the system. 
Oh. Oh. So when you think about it like that, technically, I'm also a massive scumbag criminal. <laughs> okay. Um, give me a deception check. <laughs> that physically pained me to say out loud, by the way. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I pegged you all wrong, Buster Brown. All right, let's you talk. Him? Did he just call me, he called the only black guy in the party Buster Brown? <laughs> I'm more concerned with the pegging thing. Right, was it consensual? <laughs> uh, I pegged you. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, let's let's Oh yeah, on. it was consensual. Well just okay. in the background I start playing this new completely original song called Bad Boys, Bad Boys, what you're gonna do. <laughs> okay. I'm sitting at the slipped over bathtub just jamming. Okay. Uh, my toes. So I wanna know about the uh, the crime that these guys are up to because really what's more important than than a good hustle? Crime. A lot. More yeah, crime. Crime's more the most crime. Most important thing in my life. I like double crime. I mean, it's like crime, but better. Crime, crime itself isn't what's uh, a benefit. It's the, what it yields. It's you know, it's which uh, is more the crime. money, the thrill of doing it. Right? Yeah, the, the adrenaline dump of committing an, a wrong act against society. So, what are you, what are you guys up to here? Can I get in on it? Ah, uh, well, I think. I don't know. We're guys. I don't. I don't know if we need an extra a guy. Can't we just party? Well, I mean, there's no ale. We can't really party, man. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you may as well. Right. Let listen. Let's be honest here. Okay. So I already told you that I am the biggest, worst type of criminal in the land, a police officer. And so uh, I could help you guys out, right? They trust me here to enforce the law. But if I know what you guys are doing, I can make it easier for you to get away with it. What's hmm. that doing right now? I, I don't know. I don't know what these guys are up to, and I want to find I, out. I don't Never even is definitely on. not voicing every bad thing I've ever heard about my real-life job, so... I feel like uh, Harold might need to reel him in a little. He sounds... I got a 20 in my deception check. Okay. I mean, it's I think... obviously not real. <laughs> uh, what do you think, guys? Do we... Do we need an extra hand on this job? Do you think Nath is going to be okay with I think I feel like you need to be inducted into the Xentherum first. What do you know of the Xentherum? Uh what do I know of the Xentherum? That's a yeah, really good name. question. What uh, do I know of I, the Zentherum? I don't know. You know what? What's your past? Well, Harold uh, doesn't really know much. Savaran's past? Oh, He's yeah. a, he was a traveling maniac until he met a uh, <laughs> Bahamutite preacher who has slowly started to convert him. And you're not from Ten Towns. You just came here? From like a very distant country, yeah. I might, He's literally a traveling lunatic. His job is to kill. Um, well, uh, give me a history check. <laughs> we don't know shit, man. Yeah, you don't. You've never heard of the Zintherum. But what is Chris Acola is doing? Some sort of performance. What is it? Tell me about it. Um. Yeah, I'm just sitting in this chair upside down, kicking my legs. <laughs> Okay, nice. Perfect. Hell yeah, and you do a pretty good job <laughs> with a sixteen. Yeah, it's epic. This this commoner who walked over to watch Neve is like conflicted. It's almost like warp tour when you don't know which show you want to go <laughs> to. Your favorite You're like, oh yeah, you listeners, yeah. <laughs> but this year they're like scheduled right next to each other, so like they overlap <laughs> in audible space. Even though I guess yours is a oh. a visual act, <laughs> whatever. 
All yeah, right. it's more of like street performers, you know, where like one person like dances or like does like break dancing, and the other person just plays their music. And... Right. Right. Yeah. Not do like a visual performance. Oh, it's Slippy. So I don't. Oh, snap. Are you talking Slip? about your whole crew? Oh, what? How do how how do I know I can trust them? I know that you're on the level, but what can you do? I wouldn't for be me? traveling with these idiots if I wasn't if I wasn't sure of them. That wasn't very nice. I'm only disguised as a really good lawful paladin in the throw everybody off my trail. Yeah, honestly, I'm Harold, like the worst Harold. I'm probably the worst of all of them. I'm like the worst criminal, possibly under the the many suns that exist. Yeah, Harold is just a roaming madman serial killer, clearly disguised as a paladin to escape from his evil crimes. I've had to bleach my claws many a time of blood. Do, do you visually look like a paladin? Oh, fuck yes. Like, yeah, you're at that. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, then I guess give me a deception with uh, disadvantage. <laughs> How do you do? How, what do you hold for disadvantage? Uh, control or alt or shift, one of those. Not shift. Not shift. Not shift. Shift is I think advantage. it's control. It's alt. Yeah, there you oh, go. Sixteen. They're not even that bad. Yeah, not nice. too bad. Oh, oh, you guys, you are my kind of people. You know, on the surface, representing is one thing, but on the inside being completely corrupt. I'm corrupt on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, I believe that. I believe that. <laughs> I, I recognize you, Taco Bell. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you must have sacrificed some crazy people to get where you're at in the business. Maybe. I don't know. I'm assuming. Anyway. What, what are we talking? How can you help? We're trying, uh, okay, this is hush hush here. Meet us in the corner. <laughs> yeah, meet, meet me over here. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you for coming to my TED's talk. Um, <laughs> all right. Hang on, everybody. Everybody who hasn't given me a deception check, who's trying to join in on this, give me a deception check. Sklipmeister's here. So, oh, I gotta reload. Slip is here. There's Slipmeister. There's like no yeah. power. Are you like on a backup generator or something? <laughs> He's uh, running on his solar panels. My UPS, yeah. Are you really? Like Holy current. shit. No. Oh. I would I, I would have like believed 45 it. 45 minutes. So. All right. So. He's using one of those hand cranks. Yeah. I just got like foot pedals underneath my desk. <laughs> <laughs> Under, underneath his desk. Like a little bicycle. <laughs> okay. So, oh, hang on. Yeah. Did everyone give me deception checks? What are the, what are they? Am I? Well, Deception? Are you uh, like, I don't know. I mean, on? I guess we can. Sure, even, here. I don't even know where I am. Let's let's bring you into the fold. Slippy, let's just say you were there the whole time. But everyone walked into the bar Buddy, was with invisible. the three... The three... Like the there was three people and an axe beak that were on their way to the tavern who Savaran kind of befriended. Um, and so now they're, you guys are hanging out and Savaran has convinced them that even though he's a cop, he's a bad guy and he can get the bad crime stuff done with his inside connections and then Harold presenting as a paladin is like yeah man we're all we're bad guys uh let us help you in whatever your mission is here in East Haven and so they've walked walked you over into the corner and everyone who's trying to join this conversation about their mission has to make a deception check. Yeah, I'm totally down for like not, not tipping people and like uh, <laughs> pushing or cutting in line, dude. 
Ooh, I'm fucking bad. <laughs> Dude, that's what I'm saying. Look, you're saving money by not tipping people. You're saving time by butting in line. It's you're getting ahead. You gotta right? take it. The the world is my clam. That's what they said, right? The world I, I is I think that's how that saying goes. The world is not your clam, but I yes, I mean whoever gets that clam first, me, uh will get the clam. <laughs> that is for sure. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> we will see. But that's the attitude I like. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, so what, what is Slippy doing? Uh, are, you, are you joining? I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm sitting at that bar right now. I'm just kind of listening. Okay. Uh, well, the, can I get you something? Uh, I will take a snake beer. Oh. Ugh. Sorry. Okay, hang on. I, I announced it to your friends. You may not have heard. I'm all out of ale, beer, snake beer. I've only got the hard milk stuff, and uh, I gave a bottle of spit to your friend. <laughs> was, it, was it good spit? Uh, you, can, <laughs> you can ask God damn it, which friend? <laughs> can I get some? <laughs> Point out the friend. Was it me? Did you pass it uh, off as the carrot, uh, the hard uh, carrot? Let me put it this way: Are you guys known for your spit? <laughs> um, mm, hopefully not. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, then I, I think I'll pass. I'll just take some of that hard milk. Hard milk, it is. All right. <gasps> Ten copper. Copper blink. Plink, plink. Where's the noise? I'm just gonna like lap it up with my tongue, like. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, was distressing. Sure. You just stick your face right into it. I didn't it. like it's... that. Who am I on? It's like getting all over your mustache because you're just like <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Okay, so you guys are talking to the group. Um. All right. So look, here's the mission. We've been sent. This, this will probably be a test to see if you can join the Zintharum or not. If you do good, I'm sure you'll prove to be useful to Nerth. Do well. No. <laughs> yeah, see, no, we Max, have the most Max evil Hildenau. person on the planet in our party. We have a grammar Nazi. Ooh. Interesting. So, and, um... And a gram grammar Nazi sympathizer. Look, we've... <laughs> Look, so anyway, grammar, what's, the, what's the score here, fellas? Grammar never happened. What's the rub? Grammar never even happened. You guys, okay, so <laughs> listen to me. The mission at hand. Nerth Maxildana has heard from an insider in the town hall that the, um, the speaker has gained has obtained a magical cauldron that produces uh. endless food. Now, uh. this is this is going to prove very valuable in Targos. So, we've been tasked to cart it back in the middle of the night. I see. You're very quiet. This does not excite you. This is a this is a standard heist. I'm very excited. I love heists. <laughs> well, you tend to do the cauldron. How much hard milk I could throw into this cauldron? Oh wow! Maybe yeah, create endless hard milk. Wow, you're very clever, kitty cat. <laughs> Sorry, cat man. Cat man. <laughs> We're all gonna mosey on over there together and oh, we've gotta wait until midnight. Rock and away with this cauldron. Most people are asleep. Hmm. I s I walk away and I go over here to Nymora. Mm -hmm. And wait, where is Nymora? Oh, where is Nymora? She's muted. She went to. The uh, well, when she gets back, uh. can I talk to her? 
Sure. Or any or anyone can. here or anyone here that like I'm like I guess like hey Harold, um can I talk to you for a second? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I was just, just thinking I'm gonna go think of a plan of, of breaking into that place, guys. Exactly. And I you helped to help me find the bathroom also. So is it over here? Found the bathroom. Oh, we're gonna like look look through the bookcase. Oh uh, is it <laughs> Is this the bathroom? Um is, uh, <laughs> Actually it's probably back here. There's okay. a stairway that heads down into another room. So, um, you know that they're talking about our on, you're not you're probably not in a secretive spot. You should continue forward more. What, really? Like Yeah, I mean you're just behind a, a wall. I don't know. I mean, oh. essentially, you're going to come around this corner into this other room, and you can be, you can do whatever. I just want you to be able to see that further down in the room is Imdra okay. Arglath sitting at a table with a commoner, and from the backside, it looks like a teddy bear is sitting there. Oh, what wait. on earth is that? TJ, you should probably hang back and yeah, I was going to say don't. I'm gonna go stay, chat these guys. I was up. gonna say, yeah, stay with them, and me and Harold are gonna have a one-off real quick. Um, yeah, so they're talking about our pot of soup. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, so we're gonna break into the town hall and grab it. And there's an insider at the town hall. Uh, like we knew it wasn't gonna be safe leaving it there. Like I, I knew we should have left Sabra on there. Thanks. Mm. <laughs> I didn't hear that, but my soul <laughs> stung. I knew that I knew that something was going to be fishy. Why would it take them two whole days to get us money? Maybe mm -hmm. someone inside is what's pushing it back too. I want I want that money. I mean, like I know that you were the honorable one, and you were like, oh, I'm gonna you know give up my my token or whatever because it's not about the money; it's about just waiting like that. But you know, we still have to get our recognition and and transaction so my get my i have two thoughts actually i was actually thinking about maybe retracting our um deal with the speaker and taking it for ourselves before they get there tonight at midnight and possibly setting well i don't know maybe setting up a sale with them and having them pay us and see if we can get more out of them what are your thoughts well i'm in favor of us Definitely moving the call. At least moving it, yeah. Even if somebody takes it, I feel like that's reason for them not to pay us. True. Uh, maybe we could set up a deal with them, but I mean, we'll, we'll take them. We'll take them for money, but I also think we should turn them in as well. Maybe um, we should. Oh, you know what we should do? We should set a decoy and a trap so that when they come here tonight, yeah, exactly. So we'll tell them that we'll go steal it and then we'll just sell it to them. Uh, no, I was I was gonna say like have them go steal it and then them just steal uh, They like we put the a different one in place So they think that, that they get in and they try to steal it, but then we ambush them while they're mm. trying to steal it Hmm, we also need to figure out who they're working for or what this group is. I forget what their name is already That's true. We could take the them to or whatever Zintherum. Yeah. Zintherum. I mean um, it looked like Savaron was doing a really good job, you know, getting getting toasty with them. So perhaps he could be our insider guy, and he could be the one who goes, you know, with them and and shows his loyalty to them. But neither of us, I mean, no one else here was really as invested, and and I don't think that they really paid any mind to me. I was just kicking my legs around, which <laughs> y'all might have thought was real silly, but. While everyone thinks I'm crazy, I'm actually just listening. <laughs> so, um, should we get back to TJ and tell him, or I mean, back to Savron and tell him the plan? And we'll get back to the group and let them know what, what we think. Yeah. Okay. Great. Let's go back. Um. Teddy so, bear, teddy bear boy. Cadroth mm -hmm. comes over and sits down next to Slippy and is just like. What's going on, Slippy? You like uh, that drink? Slurping up the drink? It's, uh, it's milky. <laughs> it looks milky as fuck. I take your word for it. I'm not one for milk. Especially alcoholic milk. I'm not a milkaholic. <laughs> anyway. 
So out of game, game trivia, that's actually a real Guess thing. What? You've got a, a milk, milk horn today. I got a what? No, alcoholic a milk, milk horn horse. today. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a horn and it just pours I out. I imagine it's time. almost, it's like it's glass, but it's yeah, filled it's like, with milk and it sloshes yeah. around inside of it. <laughs> yeah. You bastard. I told you I don't like milk. God, that oh, looks I'm gonna, cool. I'm going to give you an appreciation for milk today. Uh, maybe a visual appreciation. Sure. Ah, gosh. Uh, Alright, so he's cool. like sloshing his head around and trying to look up at his horn, but he can't see it, so it doesn't... He's whatever. He's just swinging his head around. Okay, so you guys go back to the group. Oh. So what's the uh, plan? I think I speak for all of us when I say we like crime and we love money. So we're in. I love yeah, crime I and I love money, but I'm not really interested in your scheme. I've got other stuff to do that's uh, a little more my style, but I'll keep you guys in mind. Hmm. That is awfully suspicious. Uh, give me a deception check. Okay. Because definitely. you know their plan now and you're... Yeah. You know? That's true. But... I only, like, but I was also, like, being crazy and stuff. Can I do, like, deception with, like, advantage? Because I wouldn't... I don't know. I didn't really speak up until now. With the leg kicking and stuff like that. I don't know. Never mind. Just no, 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 I mean, I want to give you the advantage. I'm just trying to understand what you're asking. Like, so you well, would like, have I advantage was... for what? Basically, like, I guess my behavior, like, that was, like, super weird. So I figured that they would, like, kind of have, like, a, like, she's kind of odd anyway. Like, she hasn't said anything yet. Like, how do I even know, like, how much she heard when she was standing by us or whatever? I don't know. But it's up to you to make that decision ultimately. Hmm... Um, your call. I don't know if that would give you advantage on you being trustworthy to leave. I see. I don't. Um, I don't want to discourage, like asking in the future. But yeah, in this case, yeah. probably not. No, and I mean, like, like I said, I I understand it's your call. So, yeah, no. If that's not, if that's not worthy for a, an advantage i understand god oh damn. no <laughs> now i feel bad but <laughs> ma'am okay uh, look you've come to our secret meeting and you've i mean you've heard a lay us heard us lay out the plans you didn't hear me confirm that I was interested in your plans at n never in, at w any point. I just had what I think was spit. And honestly, <laughs> I'm just really not feeling that great. So I was going to sleep this one out. I was going to, you know, at first I was like, oh, I'm going to do this really cool, uh, you know, story about how I'm going to do some awesome crime. But I got the shits. And... <laughs> I just really, you know, I just can't do it tonight. I don't feel good. So uh, I, there's the truth now. I, I gotta sit this one out. I I can't go along with you. She did poop okay. herself on the way here. Yeah. And I, I just ran to the bathroom. I had Harold basically run me there too, like to help me out. Look, she needed help. Honestly, wiping. Uh, and it was it was a mess. So just give me a persuasion with advantage because of your poop thing. Yeah, you are familiar with pooping all over the place. <laughs> so... And can Harold help? I mean, him I helping is what advantage. gives you advantage. Oh, well, okay. I mean, it's not what gives you advantage, but that's what it would give you, and you can't stack advantage. Gotcha. I understand. Um. Okay, ma'am, I, I will say that... Your, uh, your coming to the meeting itself is sort of a, an indication that you're going to be a part of it. But I can see that your stomach is troubling you. I 
I do believe that you might be a hindrance on this plan, so I will allow you to sit this one out, but please keep Thank you, I appreciate around. it. And you keep know, this to yourself. if you think about it, three out of, um, you know, my three of my partners, three of my friends, they're, they're over here talking to you. I'm kind of, like I said, you know, shitting my brains out, so of course I'm standing over here by my friends, you know? They're my friends. I, I understand, yes, but I mean, so, look, I, if a, a rabbit wanders into a bear trap, it still goes off. Um, yeah, all but, I'm saying... But what if the rabbit just shits all over the bear trap and, and it's lubricant and the rabbit squeezes out and is, you know, not a hair on its body is harmed and it's actually perfectly fine? Well, you're absolutely right. I don't have any idea what the fuck you just said. I believe in that instance, like is happening now, the the hunter, the the hunter comes along and lets this poor rabbit out of the bear trap, knowing that this rabbit is having a fecal (laughs) issue. (laughs) You know. Okay, good. But I'm I'm just, I'm just saying, I need Uh to account for everyone. Who has this information? One loose lip sinks a whole boat. Well, you don't want to know what loose buttholes do. <laughs> I can imagine what loose buttholes do. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm just gonna go over here now because uh, I'm sick and I'm shitting myself. Okay, Unless take you want care. me to see, huh? I'm. I was just. I'm sorry. I didn't expect you to come back in, into my face. I was just saying, go take your loose butthole <laughs> over there. <laughs> okay, I'm walking away now. This is over. Actually, I just go outside with Albear. <laughs> All right, guys. What time are you thinking about doing this awesome plan? Well, right I mean, we assume in the middle of the night when most people aren't there, there's probably a handful of gods, but we can. Now we can overtake them. Or distract them with the power of song and dance. Oh, oh my lord, having the Taco Bell in on the game? That sounds amazing. This is well, a maybe. tale to tell. The less tell. blood we spill, the more likely we are going to be able to get away with this. The more blood maybe. we spill... The less, the less, the less blood we spill, the more likely we'll be able to get away. I do believe that is true. Yes, you know what you're so talking let's about. So let's try not to let's try not to kill anybody who doesn't need killing. Okay, I'm yeah. That's you're speaking. You're preaching to the choir. So what what do we do? Uh, do we drink until then. Nah, fuck, they're out of drink. You want milk? I don't know. What do we do until then? I'll just drink water. Water um. hydration. <laughs> okay. I like to be sharp before a heist. Does anybody have a uh, deck of cards? Dude, you you want you want to be sharp? You just snort up a line of traveler's dust? Holy shit. That shit. Boom! Zooms you in. You've just I've got done, precision. I've, I've done focus. so much. Focus, traveler's focus, dust. focus. Tons of it. Tons of it. You've like done balls of traveler's dust, yeah. You know where to get some traveler's dust around this town? Oh, I no. I mean, we've got no, loads my, of it. My guys. Puzzles. My guy's dead. He he died from traveler's dust. <laughs> he died. Oh, that'll do it to you, traveler's yeah. dust. <laughs> yeah. The Russian roulette of drugs. <laughs> yeah. One of the best, though. You know, just just drugging it up all the time. Just drugs. What is drugs, what is drugs. Russia? Russia. I don't know roulette. what is Russia. You said you said Russian roulette. What is what is what's, Russian? What what's is yeah. roulette? It's like fast roulette, very, very fast roulette. You rush through the roulette, and it just gets done very sloppily, and you almost die. You're rushing, rushing roulette. Oh, I see. Okay, I understand now. Yes. Well, we have to go prepare for this heist. Um, well, gonna... what's, hang on. We have not made a plan yet. What is, what is your role? In this, you said you were going to use the police force as some sort of utility for our plan. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, because we are all in tight with the uh, 
the police and the town speaker even, we're gonna try and get all the, the guards to just leave. We can just talk them into leaving. They already know us. They think we do good for the town, but we're really duplicitous traitors. Oh. Um, and so you can clear, right? you think you can clear the building so we don't even have to overcome any guards? Yeah, I think we can have that whole place to ourselves. Hmm. Maybe um, we can even tell them that there's a threat outside of town and we could use the help and we could lure them outside. What, what are you luring who outside? Oh, the guards. The guards, the speaker, everyone in that building. And then it's just an in and out. Just okay. we can make it in and out. We can get uh, some burgers, some fries, in and out style. Get that cauldron, get on our way. Okay. All right. Okay, so you will get the and what time should we come in then? What kind what time can you have the guards out of the building? We'll need about an hour. I think maybe a little more than that. There's there's a handful of guards, but we're gonna need to talk to each of them individually to convince them to leave. And I'll take us probably about an hour. Okay. If you want to do this at, at say midnight, maybe a little after, then we are gonna need to be there as a as a group, not you guys, but me and my my crew at eleven. Okay. Well, it's about 9 a.m. right now, so you, so about midnight. We'll do this at midnight, it sounds like. And you guys will show up an hour early to clear out the gods, and then we'll just stroll in and use old uh, Axe uh, Beaker to, uh, get, to yank this whole cauldron back home. And then, what, will you follow us back to Targos? I'll introduce you to Nath. And we'll induct Definitely. you into the Zentherum. Yeah, that's... Is Tarkos the one who's going to pay us? What? We are looking yes. for to get paid for our crimes. And yeah, we're, we're really... Yeah, we can do well, that. Yeah, we'll follow, we'll follow you guys back out. I mean... I'm doing the crime pro bono. This is, if we get separated somehow, we'll just meet you and... This is and our in job. The, I wasn't looking to split the payment. I mean, I, I, my understanding was that you were trying out for the Zentherum, and your good work tonight would go to prove that you're a worthy member. Yeah, yeah, that's you fine. You can promise us that we'll eventually see tenfold the riches. Maybe. Exactly. See, now you you understand. Once you're inducted long, and you're right, accepted we're, we're into the Zentherum... Tonight, we're planning for the whole future of criminal enterprise on this continent. I, look, it's, keep it on the down low, but I heard that with the, the, the death of the speaker in Goodmead, there's need for a replacement, and uh, Nath is planning something, we may be able to get you in, and there would definitely be payment for that mission. See, so we got, we got not just a little job here, we got the stepping stones to affecting the whole continent. That's, see, hello, you gotta look at big picture and you are doing that. See? That's look right, at... the only only crime that matters is the big stuff. Mm-hmm. Just stepping stones to the bigger crimes. The bigger, it's not about the crime, it's about the, what you gain from it. Money. Of course, it's normally money. Sometimes it's power. Sometimes it's respect. Sometimes and this it's time, fear. it's an alliance with a serious criminal enterprise. That's right. Well, all right. Well, I guess what we'll meet back here. All right. Well, no. We'll just <sighs> well, you, you guys, guys will be in the town and hall, and we'll just show up at midnight, and you'll let us in. All right. Bet. Sounds good. Um, I suppose I should let you know that uh, we have an insider on the inside. It's it's the receptionist Wait. in the front. Never mind. Who? Nothing. The receptionist. <laughs> she can 
I don't know. I mean, it sounds like you have connections anyway, so if you need her help, she could maybe help, but otherwise, do what you need. Cool, thanks. Well, thank you. You're helping. You're pa you're you're scooping the snow from the walkway. We're simply walking down it. Um. So what's next? Can I do anything sure. while they're having that conversation? Uh, yes. Actually, I was gonna jump over to you right now. Anyway, so. Yeah, what's up? You're you're in the you're outside. You've gone up to the axe beak and your owl bear. Uh, you've named yeah. it Ali Bear, Ali. Ali Bay. Ali Bay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um. Okay. And yeah, it's just leaning into your pets. You're hanging out outside. Um. Did you have anything specific you were trying to do, or are you just like watching yes. around in the town? Okay. What's up? Um. How far is it to the town hall from here? Let's take a look. And also, what time is it at this point? Nine a.m. Well, but sometime probably some time like an has hour. passed because we've had the conversation and stuff. So it's nine thirty. Nine thirty. Okay. And okay, so you are at the wet trout. The town hall is a little bit down the coast. Okay. It's technically, um, would I be 1, able to make it there? Seven hundred feet. Would I be able to make it there in the time that they were having that conversation, or would and, it kind of be longer? And back? No, not and back. Just there. Sh uh, probably a little, a little of the way. So, like, let's say during that conversation, you walked a, quite a distance through the town. Um, you no, I'm asking never... if I if I could. I, I mean, oh, okay, if, sorry. It, if it's yeah, if I can't make it all the way, then I decide to just stay, and um, I guess just wait for everyone to come out and signal. I don't know. I mean, is anyone is everyone going with them tonight? Well, I, uh, me and I feel like. Uh... Savarin and myself will, because we've okay. been saying that we will, you know. So I wonder. I was like, yeah, betraying them, but you know, it's whatever. Oh, I am definitely betraying them. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think we should we should get them to lure us back to their fucking camp, because maybe there's even more loot. Oh yeah, you're right. So maybe we should, like, um, would it be okay if we like kind of split up and did like, you know, where. You, like, half of our party goes to the camp and makes plans to do the thing, and, like, um, you can convince them and then kind of, like, build their trust and, you know, their, and show that you're loyal to them. And then, oh, should we even be having this conversation right now? We're not really together. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, who's, yeah, exactly. You're, you're going to need to Sorry. Either... No, you're good. I mean, you could, we can plan a spot for this conversation to be happening, but... I mean, yeah. okay, so you were trying to get to the other place. I mean, to me, it didn't matter whether you made it there all the way or not. I was just going to give you some flavor before getting there. And then you got there. What were you trying to do? Oh, no. I, I, you don't want to do that. I'm, no, I was just asking if I would, be, would have been able to at least make it there. But if I'm able to convince a couple of my party members to come with me instead of them... Like, half of us can go and secure the pot and, you know, set up whatever traps we need to. Um, and then the other, you know, half would go and... I'm doing it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> doing what? So that's why I'm staying... Like, planning it out. We're, like, you know, and we're not actually discussing it. Oh. So let's... Well, let's get I'm you gonna, in there. So you're outside. Quick. Do you have these ideas and then come and be like, hey, hey let's talk or... Yeah, I guess so. I guess, yeah, I actually walk up, I walk back in and I see Neve back here. And so I tell them, um, I guess just everything that I just said, can I just pretend that that's what I was telling them the whole time? You say all, I mean, you don't want to say all this in front of the guys. So, right? no, is it, in is that, how close is it to them? They're all the way on the other side. 
You're just saying this to Neve? We, we... Yeah, I guess... Can I just say, like, hey, Neve, follow me outside. Sure. I have to show you something <coughs> with Ali Bay. He's we, so sweet. We can just tell these guys that we have to go get ready for the heist and then all convene outside. I gotta just... sharpen my sword. I gotta do, like, a bunch of crunches. You know? Yeah, I gotta do my, my ab workout. But Fine see, the more. thing is, like, if they see you and me talking, then they'll be suspicious of you, because I've pretty much already w raised suspicion with them. So I kind of have to act like, you know... Well, I don't think you interacting with him is going to be... I don't know. I mean, maybe. Yeah, it's up to you guys. Yeah, what do you guys do? You I guys think are... they, already they already accused me of trying... Um, like sabotaging, trying to sabotage the plan, or at least made. Well, right, but like, but they know that you're friends with him, and they're not really. They don't gotcha. think you, you're trying to sabotage it per se. Just that they told you the plan, and now you're a part of it. So it's just like you're a loose end that they're worried about. Gotcha. Um, uh, okay. So. Th I mean, these guys... So, what do you guys want to do until then? I mean, I heard that pickpocketing is illegal. You want to go legal. grab some stuff? Oh, man, we gotta... I gotta... Well, personally, I gotta sharpen my sword. I gotta do crunches. I gotta get some rest to make sure that I can, like, be at my full when I'm doing crime. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get ready. I gotta go get hydrated. Right. I gotta you go know. get high. You, you gotta, gotta get like, high get hydrated. Before you even, like, pickpocket. <laughs> you don't want to pull something. that high. Except for money out of people's pockets, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do. I know what you're saying. Um, oh, well, give me a deception on, yeah, on that. Both of us? Or just Taylor? Sure. Yeah, both of you. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, you guys are deceptive. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to prepare for the mission, that's admirable. I guess like, the plan was, I guess we just convene back at midnight. So I, we will see you then. I trust that you will do a good job. Hello. Come on, guys. Let's go pick some pockets. <laughs> yeah! I've been here the whole time! I can talk out loud too! Shut... No, you're not allowed to talk out loud. Wait, no! Wait. I'm gonna be the talk guy now! Okay, they leave. Okay, what are you doing? Yeah, the bet. Get the fucking... Those those dudes are they forgetting their axe beak? They they you notice that they forget their axe beak and then they come back and they're just <laughs> oh sorry uh, beaker <laughs> forgot beaker <laughs> we're stupid classic I would not have forgot beak guy they get they get out like a little beak that's like a beak fob. Like, and they cook it, and, and then the axe beak goes, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they take the axe beak with them. Boop, boop. <laughs> okay, so what are you guys doing? Chrysocolla and Neve are hanging out with the owlbear in the front. They see these guys leave. Look. What are you doing? Conspiring. Yeah. What's the conspiracy? Well, I'm trying to figure out is it better to betray these guys now and foil their plot or you know, help them with this plot yeah. and uh, get on their good graces and then betray them down the line. Yeah, hold on. I, I, I was waiting for TJ because we had a, a plot. <coughs> we could get a decoy cauldron and then we could lure these guys in. Yeah. And then we could go back to their camp and then I feel like the bigger loot is going to be at their camp. Then we could betray them then. There we go. Exactly. I need to reload oh, to get TJ. Can do Hang on. Does hmm. anyone Hang on. have precipitation? Who? What? Hang on. No, I'm reloading really for TJ. For... 
Oh, no, maybe I have him. I've got him. For small things. I got TJ. Here we go. Oh, good. I got everyone. What about um, prestidigitation? Yeah, um, can't we use precision? Does anyone have it to replace the cauldron? So that's like for, like, really, it looks like for handheld objects. Yeah, you can look uh, like stuff that's, yeah, can fit. I mean, his minor illusion could probably do the illusion do it. Of, a, of a one. I mean, we could just okay. buy a cauldron. But they are not, you know, they can't hold it or anything. It doesn't have to be a magical cauldron. We could just buy a cauldron. Mm -hmm. We could do that. And then I don't I know what the, the illusion looks of like. stuff falling out of the cauldron. Ooh, that's smart. Boom. I'm just going to trade that gold ring I found in that moose's mouth for a cauldron somewhere. <laughs> also, I want to expose this fucking inside end town hall. Do you think they would have one here at the, um, at the, uh, the wet tavern? Trout? Yeah. Um, I don't know if they have a, you can ask. I don't, you don't see one. I mean, you see the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys got a cauldron we could have? I'll give you this golden ring that I found in a moose mouth for it. Ooh, that's well, you in your town. I've been looking for that. That's that. That's why I killed that fucking moose. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I'm not gonna give it to you unless you give us a cauldron. What the fuck? You can have the bathtub. <laughs> That's not gonna cut it. Well, I don't have a. F what am I, a witch? Am I some sort of hag? I don't got no cauldron. 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 You can hey, call me. I, they call me Buzz. I can use Buzz the Cauldron. Call to get the uh, the hag to give us her cauldron. Didn't you throw away the booty call stone? I think I tried to feed it to Kadroth. Mm. Uh, I think. I think <sighs> it's in another prisoner's mouth now. I don't what? know. I think I said I think it's in another prisoner's mouth now. I'm not sure where that fucking rock is. <laughs> it's still in my inventory, according to uh, Beyond. So what's who? Who's talking to who? <laughs> uh, we're gonna go find a cauldron, and I'm just gonna keep this Wait. fucking ring. That moose died for nothing. Man, is this, a, this like is a sm how one small is, only. Is yeah, but you see, here's the thing. Do you think you would have a cauldron down here? Ma'am, I look, I said employees only, and then you left, and then you came back to tell me this behind the counter. Yeah. You, <laughs> Can I are ask you looking the... for a job? I mean, we without any alcohol, without the frickin' shipment coming from good meat, I don't have... Uh, there's not a lot of customers. I don't know if I could pay you to work here. I don't want a job. I never oh. said I wanted a job. I wanted to know what's in your dang old hatch. <laughs> what's in my dang hatch? hatch? Whoa! Well, in the hatch. You can't just ask what's people a... what's in their hatch. Yes, I mean, give can. me a persuasion. Give me a persuasion. Okay. Hatch it up. <laughs> <laughs> Can you stop? I. It, it, there's not a cauldron down there. You think. It, I, I'm sorry. No, I don't mean to. Can to I go for judgment. it anyway? You want to look. You want to open up the hatch? Yeah. Okay. Swing, Should I do swing like her a on slide open. Of... You don't, you don't believe me? Hatch. She goes for the hatch. I'm going to make like a weird. Explosion spark like behind this lady, just like a loud bang snap, like flashbang almost. I guess yeah. I can do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So yeah, sure. So she goes. She she responds to the explosion behind her, and she spins so, around. Yeah. So she's not looking at you, and while you're pulling open this hatch, I mean, it's just a dark basement. There's just a ladder that goes down. There's like a barrel that you can see through the immediately without going down. Okay. So if I do climb down the ladder, I have dark vision. So um, <coughs> technically, I would be able to see like pretty far if it's dark down there, right? Sure. I mean, 60 feet, I think. Okay. So then, if I want to climb to the bottom and then look around and okay. see if there's a cauldron. 
Okay. Uh, give me an investigation check. Okay. Because you can see, but it's dim light. It's black and white. You can barely see. Uh, you find a bunch of barrels. It's almost like a maze of barrels. You you don't come across a cauldron. Um, you come across a couple buckets. Uh, you come across a barrel without a top. No official cauldrons, but a number of different containers. I do that, by the way. I'm like, I do that groan. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> like that disappointing groan. Um, and then I just like, I just drop the hatch. I climb back up and I just like slam the hatch so that she knows that I am disappointed and that I've looked in there anyway. And then I just storm off. Did you blow something up? Did you guys not, blow something up around here? It wasn't me. Uh, you have light bulbs need changed. <laughs> what do you guys need a cauldron for? It's a really. You wouldn't understand. You're not a witch. Jungle juice. You're right. I. You're. Yeah. Your words, words not words mine. I know, you're right. That was my own words. I'm you're right, I'm not a witch. Okay. Well, good luck on finding the cauldron. I mean, like I said, you can use this tub if you need, and it can hold a bunch of like sauce or like any, a lot of different kinds of liquids for sure. Sauce is kind of a liquid. It's a good tub, um, guys. Mucus has been in the tub. <clears throat> Just a lot Thanks, of things. You're not Oh, moose yeah. moose guts. I got a lot of moose guts to go through that tub. That's that's weirdly specific, and I don't think that we need moose gut tub anywhere near us. We're I'm gonna you know look. What? The thief guys they haven't seen what the cauldron looks like, right? So they don't like even if we did replace it with something different, they wouldn't. Would they know the difference? They would probably know a bathtub from a cauldron. I mean that's. <laughs> <laughs> we can go to, like, I'm... a cookie shop, probably. Yeah, again. I don't know. Yeah, you're right. Let's just go do that. Are we all gonna rest up and sharpen our swords and all that crap, too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prime great. Before well, you I guess... Get... Are we great. all going to the potion shop? And then... We don't have to. I mean, whatever really everybody else wants. I to guess do. we don't have to split up. Never mind. I guess we can all go. We can all do do the set up the the thing and then all go to the thing. I can tell them I'm feeling better after all. So what are we going to do with the actual cauldron? Um uh, I guess hide it and let the town keep it. Or we could keep it with us. I don't I'm know, not really. carrying a cauldron around for the rest of the session. We have no need of a cauldron that generates infinite soup. Well, it's just infinite liquid. It, yeah. I mean, we, I mean, we don't need that. That's silly. Does anybody have a healing potion? Let's just put a yeah. healing potion in there and just How continue about, uh, to make healing potions. Oh my god, that baby. would be wonderful. Burn everything. <laughs> infinite oil will just burn everything we come across. Well, whatever we're doing, we need to make sure that the receptionist, you know, doesn't realize that we're doing a bait and switch with the cauldrons. I was just thinking that. That's a good idea. Is she an old woman? Because I can either turn her, her in. Or... You piece of law, lady. Yeah, there old is. women just I make can you always rage. try and distract her outside. Yeah, exactly. Have a concert in the town square or something. I don't know if she'll come, but I can throw a concert. Oh, I'll make sure she comes. <laughs> Oh. Hey, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, what so should we go do that now and then What are you guys doing now? I thought we were like <coughs> we're Um out the magical cauldron with the decoy cauldron, and then we're gonna yeah. clear out the guards. <laughs> we're gonna clear out the building, and, make it <laughs> and then we're gonna try to follow these bad guys back to their camp. With Are we gonna let like the town speaker or Indra in on our plan, and like what's going on? I mean, I was gonna probably. 
We have to tell them about the receptionist also. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're going to jail, lady. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't so, think we should tell them until after the mm -hmm. we've already done the plan. We can't let any of this get traced back to us. Yeah, we need to, like, we need to, like, keep this tight. For now. We need, we need airtight alibis. I mean, but for right now, it's just for being good. We're not doing anything bad, necessarily. Oh, actually, you know what? what? I wonder if Imdra might have a place for us to store the real cauldron for a while, so maybe we should tell her. I think that Imdra is going to work with us. She seems to, like, tolerate That's what I'm saying. Us. Like, I feel like if we tell them what's going on, yeah. they'll be willing to just clear out the entire town hall for our plan, and then we can follow them back to the camp. It's like, hey, if you follow this, then we'll actually follow down the chain and see where the higher command is. So if you just do this, then it's a, you know, kind of a win-win for everybody. Okay. <clears throat> I think that Harold should go talk to Imdra and tell her about our plans. I agree. You can do that. I guess we'll go to the town hall. Uh, no, she's actually here. Oh, is she? I think so. Yeah, she's yeah. back here drinking. I saw her back here. Well, you didn't see her whenever we went back there to talk? I was really way too fascinated with the teddy bear. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. <laughs> oh, yeah. I she was sitting with after. the teddy bear. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. So... Okay. So you guys go back to the back and Imdra's already here. She's sitting at a table um with a teddy bear when you walk around to the front you can see that the face is open it's actually just like a self-made uh cold weather clothing kind of suit that this gnome has made that makes him kind of look like a teddy bear and he's just sitting there with with imdra yeah i don't want to deal with that oh guys oh no I, oh wait are you okay bye I want to go pet the uh, teddy bear costume. <laughs> you go to pet the teddy bear costume. Okay. Where, did, where is Harold? Oh, I have on, Harold. Get so up I, here. Like I assume that I don't know that it's actually a gnome. Jump from this table to that table. Hey, hey, hands off, lady! Come on, I'm oh, sitting here. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I just, I, I misunderstood and wanted to know if you were soft. I Wait, am that... soft, but you know, you is gotta ask. Um, yelling at me is not a very soft thing to do. Well, you know, you started it. It's not, it's like you grabbed me and, uh, you know, you <laughs> don't deserve the standard respect from someone, you know, like if you didn't grab me. That, that's an escalation. Grab is a really powerful word whenever all I did was touch your head. Okay, I'm just, look, I know you mean no harm now, but there's a personal space, and once it's been crossed, like, then we're in different territory. So anyway, I think we're, we're in good terms now. Well, your jacket is very soft. Thank you for letting me touch it. You didn't really let me. I, yeah, I didn't let you, but thank you for the compliment. It is, I made it myself. Uh, so I, I do appreciate your compliment. Um, thank you. But you made it yourself. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. You know the standard clothes just weren't doing it for me, and I had to make this myself. I mean, walking out through the tundra, so a guy's got to keep himself warm. Oh, you're a guy. Yeah, I'm a guy. What makes you think I'm not a guy? Oh, I'm just being a kid. Don't mind me. But isn't that the same token as Torga? Um. It's made in the same software, and it's the same hood, and probably the same gnome-like nose, but it's not. That's actually racist of you. Um, I'm just the faces you made. I'm just so... I'm joking. I'm so sorry to have accused you of that. That's a serious thing. No joke. All right. Does anyone no. watch um, Superstore? Yeah. No. Have you seen the latest season? Yeah. The coronavirus one, and then yeah. the um, the hair care product one. With uh, the pizza is, is this going somewhere? Uh, yeah. 
Okay, then no, it's not. <laughs> oh. Only if someone would have gotten the reference, but there was an ending. But yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, you didn't I get a reference. I don't know if I would have got it. Anyway, I just recently watched it, and I don't really remember where I was going with this anyway. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. No worries. This superstore sounds interesting. I'll have to look out for it. So what brings you guys back to town? Andrew, we have some information. I don't know these people. I'm sorry not to insinuate, but may we maybe sit at this table over here? You wanna... what do you mean? Is this table not good enough? These are our friends here. I'm this is here. I'm so rude. This is... Kaba Nabanaka, he works for the Morning Lord, down in Bryn Shanda. He's dedicated his life to Lathander. Who is Lathander? He is the Lord of the Morning. The God of the Sun. Mm. Mm. Very noble cause. Yes. Um, so, so we can't go to a table? <laughs> what? what do you mean? You want, what table? You want to go to a different table? Well, just just us and Endra. We have some some information, and we just I just would like a little privacy. Uh, okay, fine, fine. If you think it's that important, sure. I guess I'm I'm sorry, Copper. Um, I will be right back. All right. Uh, so, I mean. Can, uh, where do you want to go? How far is far enough? Yeah, right there, I guess, right? Okay, well, are you gonna come meet me? Okay, thank you. You jump over um, the table. Come on, come on, come on. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna, like, like just, like, stand on the table and just, like... Start <laughs> <laughs> <Sir>, your authority. <laughs> <laughs> T-pose. So what's... What is going on? You guys are almost like a... a own military force. Well, so I'm gonna tell her that we uncovered the plot for somebody to steal the cauldron, and the receptionist is the one that's tipping people off and trying to get them to steal it. So we're just going to let her know that we're trying to arrange a swap of the cauldron for a decoy cauldron, and we're trying to follow the bandits back to their camp with really out any casualties or people breaking in or anything like that, and then we could figure out the chain of command. You see what's going on. The uh, the receptionist is is uh, is on the inside. Oh, mm -hmm. Prudence? No. Who who is this? Who is working against us? Who is planning to do this? This is this is this is uh, Zinferi. The Zinferi. The Farum. Oh no. Pokemon Safari. Not again. <laughs> He's always been striving to uh, get their hold. On ten towns. No, well, thinking... okay. So, how can we thwart them? How can I appreciate you bringing this to me? What should we do to stop the plan? So, I don't know. Right now, that's all we have. Really, is we're just trying to get to their camp to maybe see their leader to see if we can, you know, figure out the chain of command and maybe move it up even further. Maybe interrogate somebody. Did you guys hear something? It's just like a weird owl noise. Uh, yeah, don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> so, can we also ask her maybe if she knows where we can store this cauldron? Because we're not trying to have it get into the wrong hands. Yeah. Oh, okay, so... What is your plan? You're going to move the cauldron out of there. That's a good idea. And uh, make sure it's not where they're looking. Um, mm -hmm. but what, are we going to ambush them once they show up? No, no, I think we're gonna, we're gonna take the cauldron, and I think we're gonna meet them at the town hall, I think is what's going on. We're gonna meet them there after we clear out the town hall, and then we'll just make it seem like we were able to clear out the town hall, take the decoy cauldron, and follow them back to their camp to pledge our loyalty to their little group, and then maybe we can kind of just infiltrate them from the inside. Oh, interesting. So you have a decoy... And while this is going on... Yeah. I can be throwing a concert somewhere in town as a pretext for why nobody's at the town hall. Bam, Do -do. bam, bam. Look at that. Group plan! Hmm. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, uh, concert at midnight. Uh, yeah, late night jam sesh. Let's do it. You, Put I mean, my party in. Yeah. Wait, hang on. So the jam session is supposed to supposedly lure our guards away? Yeah, yeah like everybody just had yeah. a party in. You know, I had, well, with the I amount of people at this whole jam favorite. session, there's going to need to be security. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People love that jam. I, I guess I would just hope my gods would do better than to leave their post, but... Well, you know, this is... every every little bit helps. If it can count as a distraction well, for the whole, let's do it. If you would really like to sell it, then we could fake tie up some guards, and we could be like, "Oh, look, we had some guys, and we tied them up, or something." Sure, it's, look, it's your plan. I yeah, I appreciate you bringing this to me. <laughs> I my trust. Guards. It's fine. I, I I didn't mean to cr- to question your plan. Let's surely you have some guards that would enjoy being tied up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, okay. You can ask Carl about that, but uh... oh, oh, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all right. Oh, Carl. But you know what? He's gotten to a lot of trouble, and we've had to sweep a lot under the rug because of that son of a bitch. So don't give him that much. Scare so tactic is what we're doing. Got it. Yes. All right. So. Um, what can I do to help? One thing that could help me, Indra, um, do you have the ability to make some flyers for my little surprise concert? Um, I... Have printing presses been invented yet? I can probably delegate the task, yes. What would you like them to say? Well, okay, first of all, how far away is the town hall from the town square? Uh, probably right there. It's right there. Probably, I didn't mean probably. probably. I know. I live here. It's right outside the town square. Okay, we could have the concert there, but my concern is if it's too close, then like you know, the pretext will be gone because like the guards there could just you know literally see the town hall unless uh, people snuck in the back or something. Mm. Hmm. Love sneaking in the back way. So like the outskirts of town. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we could have it. I, I understand the point. Let's have the let's throw the concerts away from the town center. Um, if I only mean, there were a map of this town that I could see somewhere. Do you see? We have a handout. I think <laughs> I'm looking for it. This is East Haven, right? Yeah, here. here. Yeah, I got. It. Uh, can I show everybody? <laughs> Whoa. I know. We could have the concert at a tavern. I just have to go find a tavern willing to accommodate one that's kind of near the town hall. Well, we're we're in a tavern right now. It's not really near the town hall. Um, (laughs) The the inn is sort of close by. Yeah, let's do that. Where's the inn? Well, town hall is here, actually. Oh, perfect. That's, That's perfect. Town Hall. Yeah. You get it. What? Okay. What happened? I've gotta go see about those white ladies then. <laughs> Christina Aguilera. Alright, but to answer your question, Indra, um Go into the Karen in. I guess make the flyers say uh, surprise concert by the Taco Bell, bringing back potatoes, the White Lady Inn, at 11.30 p.m. Oh, shit. They do have french fries again. Emphasize. They the do. No, they're bringing back oh, potatoes all together in uh, yep. March. Oh, my God. I'm watching the fucking hockey game on the side, and Taco Bell just popped up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sign. It's a sign that we're doing the right thing. That's right. Hive mind. Also, maybe, uh, I don't know if she knows somewhere we could store this cauldron once we lay our hands on it. Preferably um, where the receptionist wouldn't see us. I mean, I guess you could probably either keep it at the stables or maybe the armory. We could put it at the armory. That's probably armory secure. Okay. Armory Good sound. spot. Okay. Um, would a couple of you help me drag it over there. Yeah. 
And what about this receptionist? What do you want to do with her? That is a good question that is best answered after I go to the bathroom. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm going to the bathroom! Are you going right now? Yeah! Are... <laughs> <laughs> she's, just like, she's just like staring. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a poop. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> You're laughing at me. Nothing. Nothing. I bet it's definitely about me then. Caught you. Caught you in the act. Chris Acolo is telling me a really funny joke about a sea cucumber. Ew. Yeah, it was kind of long, so I don't even want to retell it. You had to be there. Get it? It was kind of long. Yeah, yeah. The cucumber. <laughs> are we waiting on someone? Or... Yeah, I'll wait. Maybe you should come to the concert. I, I've been practicing. I could do so backup. I could do the backup vocals. You really should. I'm sure that the Taco Bell would love having a backup singer. My mother always said that I should go on tour. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but what does she know? <laughs> Andrew, if you show up to the concert, I'll let you on stage for a song. <laughs> oh, don't, don't you tempt me. As long as you can make sure the receptionist is at the concert, or at the very least not at the town hall, while we're doing our sneaky thing. Well, okay. Is that the jail. plan? We, I just reassign, I make sure that the receptionist is not there. Okay. Okay, cool. Right. I'm gonna go run over to the white lady right now. Okay. Like you already did that while you while we oh. were helping. Oops. Um, okay, so yeah, you run you run over to the white lady and you start setting up. Alright, um, hold on, hold on. Okay. I'm holding. Oh <laughs> the first one. The first one was it. the one that yeah. I had to click. Well, the, you you start off strong, real fast, and then like you lose, <laughs> but you may still make it there pretty fast. Um, okay, so yeah, you make it to the white lady inn, and you, yeah, you start to set up your concert area. Well, I, I mean, I, I think it would be polite if I, you know, asked the uh, owner of the white lady inn if I could do that first. Oh yeah, you're totally right. Hello, Taco Bell. What uh, brings you? You still, you want to pay for tonight for this room? Hey, how you been, Mr. Uh, 
Bartaban. Uh, it's Bartaban. <laughs> You've been staying here for a couple days. Yeah, that one. Hey, listen. Um, people more important than me. Now, I know that might be a hard thing to believe exists, but more important than people you. more important than me really, really would like there to be a Taco Bell concert tonight. And, well, if I may say so, the White Lady Inn is the perfect establishment. So I would like to work out a deal with you uh, for me to perform here tonight. Ooh. Okay. Um... You know, I'm totally fine with it, but technically Ronaldo is our in-house. I know, I know, I know, and we all know how he feels about performing with me, so why no, don't you I... let me go over and talk to Ronaldo, and I will convince him to let me play with him like he always does. Oh, sure, be my guest. Both of you on stage, that would be incredible. Yeah, be my guest. Go over try to talk to him. Hey, yeah, Ronaldo, oh, I see now, you. your name I can actually remember. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty memorable. It's it's more so that I'm pretty memorable, and that's why you remember it. Mm -hmm. It's me. Well, listen, so tonight there's going to be some stuff happening, and people Ooh, much stuff. more important than me uh, would what? like there to be oh. a Taco Bell concert tonight. Now, I know, I know this is your space, but I would really appreciate it and would show my appreciation in the form of money, Ooh. if I could be the primary performer here tonight. Oh, you you have new material. Oh, I have I have new material. You and, do uh, some old favorites. Oh, uh, no, but you you retired it. No, oh, um, <laughs> oh, um. Are, are we just going to forget that time that I drunkenly played potatoes so awfully twice in a row with you there? <laughs> yeah, he's he forgot. Because I'm okay too. with forgetting that. Yeah, he he forgot. He doesn't totally okay, remember good, that. Good, just good. give me a persuasion check. With advantage because your boy got Taco Bell. That's not a real <laughs> advantage giver. <laughs> I tried. If TJ gets want, advantage uh, in real life. Though, it should be. Savaran is just offering support. Okay. I can get behind this. And if it's going to make us some money, things have been kind of slow, so sure. Let's put on let's put on a concert tonight. What are we talking like 7 p.m. to 9 p.m.? 11:30. 11:30. Everyone will be asleep. Oh no, everybody will not be asleep because we're already advertising for 11:30. Hmm. All right. Uh, you know what? I'll <laughs> I'll take the word of a professional. Definitely. Let's do it. All right. And uh, Ronaldo, make sure you and Mister whatever his name, who owns the inn here, make sure you guys tell everybody to come to the concert tonight. They're not going to want to miss it. I will. I'll tell. I mean, we don't we don't really leave the building, but we'll tell all the guests that it's going to be loud, and <laughs> if they want to see tonight. what's up. Yeah, just, uh, it's going to be almost impossible to sleep in the rooms at midnight. Um, so might as well come out and see an amazing concert. Because you're not going to sleep anyway. Yeah, they're right. definitely not going to be able to sleep. So might as well uh, gorge yourself in entertainment. Yeah. Okay, well, it's, it's a pleasure. It's going to be a pleasure to perform with you tonight. Uh, so, yeah, you guys are in agreement. You guys start setting up there. Um, what's going on with you uh, with with you all other people? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Um, Can I, I was going to rest and cast uh, Find Familiar, but I was going to change my familiar. What kind of rest are you trying to do? Mm, an hour, I guess. You a know, short rest? It, what? A short rest? Okay. Yeah. To What's find that? my familiar. And I'm going to change it to an albino bat. It's called Batty White. Batty White. <laughs> Just flapping around. I imagine maybe instead of like perching on your shoulder like a parrot, it like hangs from under your arm like a bat, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Cool, so you've got that. What about, I think, uh, Naimora, were you saying something? 
Uh, can I go help Neve set up for the concert? Yeah. How do you? Does, what are you doing to help? Um, Moral support. Whatever Hell Neve yeah. tells me to do. Like, okay. Probably decorating and arranging the table so there's space for the concert. Okay. Stuff like that. Sounds great. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Can I practice a little bit with Ronaldo? You know, maybe enough practice to maybe uh, get some advantage later tonight, if you know what I mean. Okay. Okay. So let's say how long? How long until the concert tonight? What? What time is it? It's ten thirty in the morning. It's, it's at eleven. Hours. So you have twelve. Yeah, twelve and a half hours essentially. Cause you do, oh, 11 and a half. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, okay. So you have thir roll 13 performance checks right in a row. And if you well, I was average... I'm taking a nap between now and then. No. Well, then don't no, do 13. Do 12, then. Do 12 right in a row. And if you average above 10... Damn. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, wait. No, we need to get... Above 10? Hang on, hang on. We need Average. to look. We've got a 24, a 9, a 25. So we've got four good ones. We need five good ones. So... No, we need six good ones. Okay. So keep rolling them. Oh, hold on, that that's 12 right there. I just did uh, S advantage to make it take up less space. Oh, okay. I see how you're doing oh, it. So we've got two, one, two, four, three, six, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Okay. Plus so one. yeah, you're right. That averages on a uh, good performance. You successfully practice well enough with Ronaldo. Oh, you know what? Ronaldo should do some checks with you to see. He should affect your roles. <laughs> so what? What is Ronaldo? Shit, I don't fucking know. Ronaldo. Um, Lame. Uh, Boo. I didn't see any of you trying. In, uh, There's a reason for that. Uh, oh, he was just clever. a commoner. Okay. Like me. I wrote a rap earlier. That's not helping. Okay, face. so. About the rhyme of the prophet. <laughs> So you can just eat a bug. What do you think of that? What? <laughs> Ronaldo? No! What are you doing? Five, one, doing? one, two, ten, one. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, but then he got ten passes and he got ten, ten, thirteen, twelve, fifteen. So it's exactly tied his next roll decides okay but you had enough you had enough successful ones that it offset his failure so okay yes you both have gained advantage for the performance later tonight oh yeah also oh, Ronaldo is the opening point. act you what Ronaldo is the opening act for like an oh, hour beforehand yeah well one, sometimes one. that's not good read his rap if he wants you can be the uh prelude to the opening act. No, <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, and so, shot. like, Imdra comes in and is just like, Were you, were you serious? I can sing on stage later. Yeah, I mean, after everybody's already drunk, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, well, shoot. I'll, I'll, I'll be there. All right. All right, so she does that. Uh, who's, who's, Doing other stuff. Savran, Slippy, Chris, Cola, Harold. Where where are you guys at? I am. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Who me? Chris, Cola. Let's start with Chris, Cola. Yeah. Um, I wanted to go to the potions shop to see if they had a cauldron. So it looks okay. like me and Harold are going to do the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Um. You don't even really have to do an interaction. We could just buy the cauldron. <laughs> you know? It's up to you. The reason I'm saying um is like it's like shit. I'm not trying to like put up walls in front of everything Chrysical's doing. Technically, Ten Towns doesn't have magic shops. Um. Mm. So. 
but they gotta have a Walmart, right? They've got, oh, so they've cool. got an a uh, a blacksmith. Can maybe yeah. make you one. Or, what about like a restaurant? A soup kitchen. Yeah. yeah you know. Um. Okay, so give me an investigation check. Okay. Sure, I'll give you the advantage on it. Uh, oh, so you, I, I mean, you wander through town. Maybe it takes like an hour. Um, oh, I have no idea where we are. I'm sorry. Yeah, you lose Harold in the process. He turns down a back alley looking for something. You turn around, he's not there. But when you turn back the other way, you see in a, the front window is a mannequin holding a big old cauldron. Um, and it's just, you need, it's got a big sign that says like, where are you going to put your water? Right here. <laughs> You got liquid, we got the containers. Come in. Oh, <laughs> Actually, it doesn't say that on the window. Uh, it's a person standing there saying that. Come on in. I look you over got to Harold and I'm like, uh, I think this might be a good place to look. Yeah, yeah welcome so. to, to Buzz Cauldrons. <laughs> That's what we're called. <laughs> I just imagine they have all cauldrons of different sizes. Different yeah, colors. we got every kind of cauldron you want. We got cauldrons that'll fit through trap doors and go in the basements. We got cauldrons <laughs> that look like bathtubs. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Wait, you got a bathtub cauldron? I've been looking for one of them. Hell yeah, buddy. You could sleep in this bathtub. What? <laughs> You ever just like fill a bathtub up with pillows and it's just the comfiest thing? Holy shit. You could do that with this. We got bathtubs. Wait, we got cauldrons shaped like uh, cars if you want to sleep in that kind of a cauldron. Yeah, you know. What about cauldrons shaped like boats? Yeah. We got cauldrons <laughs> shaped like boats. Heck yeah. Come with me. Follow me. Hang on. That's on aisle seven. We got to walk down a little wait, bit. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're, we actually don't have time for this. We're looking for a specific type of cauldron. I just got really yeah, excited. Yeah, cauldrons are shaped just... like boats. I heard you. No, I'm taking no, you right to them. You see, you painted this fantasy in my mind with your excitement, and it got me excited about different kinds of cauldrons. And my that my, my imagination <laughs> went 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 to you know all of these places, and I got really excited. Once your mind opens up to the endless world of cauldrons, it's unstoppable. <laughs> I tell you what, it took me a week to Don't recover. Forgive me. Don't that's even walk down to aisle ten. I tell you what, those are some. That's some of the experimental stuff. No. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, what we're looking for is just your your run of the mill big black witches type cauldron. Just a big black witches cauldron. I got mm -hmm. you. Uh, just Hold run of the second. mill. Whoa, 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 whoa! African American witches cauldron. I, uh, <laughs> You need to buy a witch's cauldron for an African American. I think they're all the same. Oh. Yeah, no worries. I mean, you know, it's probably admirable to you trying to get the right one. But yeah, for, as an expert of cauldrons, they're all the same. Anybody can use the same kind of cauldron. Well, I'm talking about, about the color like... of the cauldron. I noticed that you had them in pink and green and brown. You noticed I just that? To make sure. <laughs> you... Yeah. Oh. I told you. You've been this looking. Place something else. You've been looking more than I thought you've been looking. Yeah. It's uh <laughs> I it's almost like you've been here before. I don't cuz those no. colors aren't until like aisle 8. So look. All right. Sounds like you know exactly what you know what you want. I'm not going to try to sell you on all this extra goodies. You need like special plate you need a clamp you need like a holder okay i said i wasn't gonna try to sell you on that stuff but do you need it for real though yeah yeah oh yeah we need we need a, a cauldron i need a plant um i don't think we need the plate and clamp right now 
Um, like I said, we're kind of on a time crunch. We've got this project due, and we've got to get it. You know how it is. You know, time cold drink. Crunch. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. I get and, it. Uh, yeah, so we, um, but I, I don't know about my friends, but I will definitely be back. These cauldrons are mm, chef's kiss. So, oh, they uh, are chef's kiss. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm going to be back. I've got a lot of interest in the, oh, the craftsmanship. Oh, man. Oh, what and he blushes. Material. You see that one shaped like a dog? Hey, come on now. You don't got to oh say all that God. nice stuff. Lift, uh, you <laughs> that okay. like don't lift his leg to pee on the fire hydrant shaped cauldron. <laughs> this is just... Mm. Yep. You, you better believe so it or not. Cute. I got a cauldron that artist. looks like a cigarette. And I got a cauldron that looks like Rick and Morty. And hey. I... <laughs> <laughs> these little cauldrons by the door, like these little tiny ones, are these souvenir cauldrons? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little bitty souvenir cauldrons. <laughs> oh my goodness. Guys, and torch lighters to boil your, like, on the go uh, <laughs> sp uh, potions. You know, you use a torch lighter. You hold your little. <laughs> I visited cauldron. Icewind Dale's largest cauldron shop. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one of these souvenir cauldrons. <laughs> All right, tell Wait. your friends. I yeah, will. it's I will. it's got buzz cauldrons like on the side. <laughs> <laughs> it's got an ad. Then, if you guys don't bring me back a souvenir cauldron, I'm gonna be a long time. I I see this little stress ball cauldron, um, <laughs> with with their logo printed on it, and I'm like, I think I think Nymora would really like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, that's that's Damn. ten gold. That's one of the glass ones. Wait, what? That's a that's ten. You're trying to buy that, right? The stress ball cauldron. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of the. It's higher end. It's a uh, glass. I'm. Who? Okay, is Stormy Girl one of you guys? Because if not, there's a person. I'm a hundred percent here for the cauldrons right now. It probably <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But you tune in for the friends, you stay for the cauldrons. You come for the poop, and you say. <laughs> she's saying hi to Snow, so maybe. Yeah, she's one of my friends. Oh. Boop, whoop, whoop. Anyway, thanks for thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. We'll try to keep up with the cauldrons. Right. What's up? All right. Up with so, the um, you want a uh, gift wrap? You want, uh... Um, yeah, do you have, like, like, um, in the wrap, the wrap contains tiny little, um, pockets of air that, that kind of protect the cauldron. <laughs> um, if you wrap that paper with tiny pockets of air... Tiny cauldrons of air. Tiny cauldrons of air. <laughs> yeah, little, little. Oh, you're talking about yeah, little flexible cauldrons, like self-contained. <laughs> yeah, little air air cauldrons. Oh. Yeah, we got the sheet of cauldrons. Yeah, that's. <laughs> air cauldrons. Have you ever thought about making pul like pauldrons out of, out of cauldrons, like like the, you know, like oh. you know, like armor? <laughs> Where you could just like. And it's just a cauldron. Uh. <laughs> Whoa. That's like multi multi utility right there. Like a cauldron that doubles as something else. That's some armor. Whoa. I only thought to make them look like other things, not to actually make them function as other things. That's next level. I'm telling you, man. We'll, right, be back. Well, we'll be back for some business ideas. Look, you already said it. I'm not giving you any royalties. Okay, uh, you said it. Right. You, uh, there's no contracts. I'm stealing that idea straight up. Pickpocketing is legal. I can take that idea. <laughs> that's uh, Pick, that's brain picking. Yeah. You left that that little morsel just flapping around in your uh, pocket, and that's your problem. You got to zip right. those up. Right, your brain pocket just picked it right out of that, there. That nut meat. That nut meat. Little brain nut meat. 
<laughs> in that in that cauldron attached to your neck. Okay, so <laughs> all right, so I'm just I'll assume no gift wrap. You want to get right into cauldroning. Uh, all right, so th that is this cauldron is top of the line. It's definitely fifty gold. Uh, Severin has a ring. Oh yeah, that's right. Did Severin come with us? Can we just say that he did? Is his computer because... just totally dead? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't know what happened. Shoot. He's yeah. Yeah. We can say he came because that was his intention. So Savran's just like, I have this ring that I would trade <laughs> for anything. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, yeah, that's worth a lot. Who are looking for a good time? That must be worth exactly the amount I want for this cauldron. I think <laughs> we have a deal. And he he bites the ring and he hurts his tooth. Ah! Chip! <laughs> Why are you- Buzz, you're, you're a strange guy, Buzz. I always <laughs> saw people do that. I don't get it. It- Ow! It- Chip! Uh. That was- Alright, minus one HP to Severin, like, next time he comes in, just cause he's got a chip tooth. No, no Sav it's not, it's not It wasn't Severin, that's the, the that's owner uh, of the uh, store, oh. yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, okay, so you guys have the cauldron, and I guess you drag it back to the, the place. Um. I guess, can we, like, hide it? <laughs> yeah, like, make sure that the speaker isn't there. We're not gonna drag it right in, and we just want to make sure that the speaker's not, or not the, the... Sec like secretary. Yeah, the receptionist. We want to make sure she's there. Maybe we'll meet up with Endra first, because Endra was going to want to deal with the, with the receptionist. Right. Oh. Ah. Okay. Do Thank you for now. You... Huh? That you are. Uh, thank you for now that you are playing for the win now. I am not trying to do that. I, that's something that is very annoying to me. Uh, yeah. Wind, wind, wind. What the f- I'm not even doing that. It's on loop and it will say it every fucking time. Great. That's really annoying. I know, I turned it off. It's fine. Wind, wind, and elvish. You hear an elvish wind sweep across your ears. <laughs> God damn it! How did Harold start it? Did you go to the music and hit play or something? No, I just typed it. Oh, <laughs> that's really funny. Okay, uh, so, so you guys, uh, I guess you you approach the front and uh, the the receptionist is talking to Imdra Argalath out front. And I'm not uh, here. Yeah, I'm not. I'm with Neve. I, it's whatever you're yeah, talking They're, they're, they're prepping, blowing up the cauldron balloons. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm like, uh, uh, Neve. Like, you're star, baby. You're star. <laughs> Let me reload to see if I can get TJ. Nope. Oh well, he'll return in his own time. Oh. All right. So, uh, what do you? I guess you you approach the front, and the person is standing there, and Imdra is like kind of pointing her away, and she walks towards the white lady, um, and then Imdra kind of motions you in. Wait, where's the receptionist going? Towards the white lady. She's just gonna walk away. Yeah, there's a concert her. there. Oh, okay. She, I don't know if she was just scolding her, I guess, or what. No, she I was. I, that was someone told her to do that to get okay. the keep her occupied. Yeah. Where's the token? There we go. Okay, so yeah, she motions you guys in, like, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Cool. Oh, Saverin's trying to reload. I assume he's carrying. Yeah, probably. 
Yeah. A, a couple of you are probably carrying it. It's like 300 pounds. Well, yeah, he can lift 450, so he can carry it alone. I was going to say, not me. I can't, like, I've got no strength. Yeah, I'm I am not, not very, very strong. I'm oh, very those strong doors aren't either. open, are they? <laughs> okay. Go this way. So you guys carry it in to the, to the main room. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, fancy meeting you over here. What are you guys doing here? I'm just going to move you all. Oh, we, I, we're we just swapping out the cauldron. I guess we'll let the speaker know. You know. Okay, and then where, I guess, where are you headed then? Are you staying here? You swap out the cauldron. Um, Put the other cauldron in the armory. Yeah, right? you assist Imdra to the armory and she locks it up. Okay, so what's, what's the next step? We just wait for them to show up? Yeah. Well, now we're going to go decorate. And we're going to make this the fucking ragingest party of all time, Endra. That's what we're about to go do. Uh, we're throwing a party? Unpack. I'm trying to get onto the tab. I'm sorry about that, guys. Well, uh, we're, what, what's the, we're doing a party? Yeah, we're going to, we're going to throw a big party outside. We're going to distract everybody. Oh, gonna go right. Decorate. Yes, yes, the concert. I, I Anywhere that Taco stuff. Bell goes is a party. Oh, it's. <laughs> okay, so where should I be? We go to the party, you guys stay here. Are you going to lock them up? Do you need jail? Do you need the keys to the cells? No, I think we're gonna we're gonna take the cauldron back to their camp and then I think if we do bring somebody back um, Well I mean once we leave you guys can come back into the town hall, you know. Oh, okay, so you're just going to follow them out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I trust you to do the right thing. You you haven't done us wrong yet, so... Thank you for your hard work. Don't thank me, thank B Bottom It. <laughs> <laughs> I hated that. Thank you, Butt Hummus. Okay. Butt Hummus. You said Butt Hummus! <laughs> what happened? You thank saw it with your own eyes and heard it with your own ears. The Bahamut. No, Bahamut. And, <laughs> and Imdra kind of skips off towards the White Lady Inn, like humming a song already. Like ready to fucking sing. I'm gonna be yeah. like, oh, you're gonna kill it tonight. Thank you. I think I'm in love. <laughs> Thank you. With Harold or Imdra? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what what now? What is the plan? Did, did Buzz's cauldrons have like uh, cauldron balloons that we could blow up? <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, no, it's mainly he has a cauldron that looks like a balloon, but not balloons Ooh. that look like cauldrons. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm. <clears throat> well, I guess. Uh, We'll go to the white lady, decorate, get some drinks, you know, rest before we do whatever. I'm going to read, really, really struggle to read, but try and read from Harold's book of Bahamut. <laughs> <laughs> you just sit down with it, yeah, and start trying to read it. I'm, I'm going to, like, swap out books, and I'm going to give them the pop-up book version of it. <laughs> <laughs> I am eloquent in my native tongue and an idiot in all other tongues. Bahamut for dummies or something, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. It says my it's my first Bahamut prayer. <laughs> yeah. The the new Bahamut. Shiny dragons, bad. <laughs> Roll a religion check with double disadvantage. Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> it's Yeti oh, spaghetti. Yeti spaghetti. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Well, what are you guys doing? You guys are all you got. You got Ali Bay in the place. Everyone's chilling at the White Lady Inn at the moment. Um, 
Cali Bay is our mascot. A number of people are here, but not as many as you'd like. They don't, they're out of alcohol. Everybody's out of alcohol. So the crowd isn't as big as you might have hoped, but Wait people are bit. showing up. Does what? anybody have any ale? We should just go back to the cauldron. We can just produce a bunch of free alcohol. <laughs> have, you, had you, I don't, have you cast Identify on the cauldron? Uh, uh, yeah, we, we did that way back when. I don't know. I don't remember, to be honest. We, we did. did, we did. Okay, well, because if you we, did, then you know that you put water in it and it creates soup. Hmm. It doesn't double, it beer. doesn't multiply what you put in it. I got you, it's just soup. It just yeah. makes soup. Beer soup. Beer Yeah. Yeah, you could probably you get a version of beer soup. Mike's hard soup. Yeah, I thought, I thought the replicating Mike's the hard thing soup. was a little broken. <laughs> <laughs> it's whiskey. It's just whiskey. It's, sh it's Shmirnoff soup. <laughs> so, oh, don't, don't talk about Shmirnoff. Dude, a hard malt soup? Are you joking? That's... <laughs> Oh Salt my god. Baby. I mean, barley soup isn't that bad, so... Well, yeah. But just like oh, a, a, again, I guess. an alcoholic oh. soup. Oh, man. I mm. Yeah, like a uh, Bloody Mary soup. Ew. Actually, no, that is soup. like... That's like a tomato soup yeah, tomato that's soup. alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, it's like alcoholic tomato soup, but with vegetables in it and other I fun mean, things. Did you just pour oh. vodka in your tomato soup? Depends on where you're getting the Bloody Mary. No, I put soup in my Bloody Mary. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you guys are you guys are prepping this big old this <laughs> big old performance. Um, like and uh, the the woman, the the secretary, the receptionist is here waiting around for things to start. Imdra is here. Can I put Imdra? What? in like the very back of the concert like you know like hyper up like oh my gosh i'm so glad that you made it you're gonna be such an important part but like put her way behind and you know turn off any magnifying things that we may have voice magnifying things that we may have for her she's gonna be a tree oh i see yeah yeah just okay yeah hell yeah but well, give me like, give me a persuasion first like, I'm gonna be so positive and I'm gonna hype her up and I'm gonna be like, I'm so glad that you made it. I can't believe that we have you here. Oh! Yeah, okay. So Look she's pumped. And then Morris kind of got so much faith in me. I just, you haven't even heard me sing that much, but your faith is giving me so much confidence. It's great. It's, hey. it's gonna be great. This might be the beginning of something. Uh, I might throw away my badge and just sing, you know? That's. Maybe yeah. don't do that yet, but like, let's well, see how tonight. Okay, of course. I mean, with from what you're saying, it seems like there's not a chance I'm going to fail. I don't. Let's. Just, I don't know about all that. Yes. What is that supposed to mean? What? What? <laughs> What's the, what is that supposed to mean? You don't know about all that. I. Oh. I just don't know about all that. That's all it means. He's oh, not. You must not. You must. You don't know a lot of a lot of things. That's what you mean. Yeah. That's right? right. I'm a big dumb barbarian from a faraway <laughs> land. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't even listen to him. Self-deprecation. <laughs> Wonderful. What time is it right now? It's. Noon thirty. So you guys still got a while. You guys, I mean, oh. technically during this time you're practicing still because we did those okay. those practicing still got eleven hours. Yeah. So I mean, we can fast forward if you guys do all that. If you, I don't know if there's any other prep before. Is there any way we could procure more alcohol for this fine establishment? Um, how would how do you go about trying to do that? Yeah, you can try. Yeah, that's a good question for someone else to answer. <laughs> <laughs> the Taco Bell is the star. I mean, I don't know how powerful Minor Illusion is, but... Uh, you oh, know, yeah, all the windows are broken. I forgot. A bunch of windows are broken, and it's really cold in here. 
not that powerful. <laughs> Sorry, but Neve, you oh, were saying. Oh yeah, all the windows are broken. <laughs> Wonder how that happened. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, oh, was it the seance? That's right. Okay. Yeah. Slippy, I forgot for a second. Slippy knew. Wait. Okay. <laughs> so Slippy. Slippy, you should make sure that these windows are still free, though. I, you know, I made sure they weren't on our bill. Slippy, okay. what did you, what did you do with that crystal you stole? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I still have that. Yeah. What'd you do with it? I guess I just still have it. Okay. Cool. So yeah, yeah. You guys, uh, tell me oh, what's happening. I add happened. that to my uh, inventory. Just weird crystal. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're, if that, if I, I'm not, yeah, sorry. Yeah, if, uh, if you just putting it in your inventory, just put weird crystal. All right. Cool. <laughs> uh, I would like, um, probably to, uh, like take a, a little nappy poo before the show. Cause 1130 is past my bedtime. Wait, Nymora, can I give you some money to go to the market and uh, see if you can get some booze and potatoes? I like how I've become like your agent right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? That's weird. What the fuck just happened? Okay. It just let life. me know that Slippy rolled something. That's weird. That wasn't oh, yeah, no, it's been doing that on my um, my D&D uh, &D Beyond all night. That's... I think it's like some sort of update. That's kind of literally every time Slippy one. does. Yeah, it says like Slippy rolled an investigation or something like that. That's funny. Weird. Where is this? On it's the, showing uh, up D &D on our D and D Beyond. Yeah. Yeah. And no Slippy worries. used a basic black dice. Rolled with basic black. Okay. Anyway, that's uh, not important. So. Where are we? Where are we getting to? Where? What positions are you going to be in when these men show up to the town hall? Well, I want to be in the town hall, waiting. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Because I'm I'm a crime ridden individual. The worst. Okay. You might be the most evil person in our party, Harold. And then who's staying for the concert? Neve is obviously performing the concert. I'll, I'll probably be at the venue. Probably. Stay, yeah. I'm staying at the concert then. Chrysocola, Naimora? Was... Yeah. Okay, Naimora's there. Uh, so what, Slippy, Harold, and Savaran? I did, what, what's Slippy doing? Are you going to confront the dudes? Well, no, or whatever you're doing with the dudes? Or are you going to uh, stay at the concert? I guess I'm so... I, I thought I was going with the... The cauldron so I could make it look like it was... You know... Uh, yeah, you're going to go with that then. Yeah. Okay. I have a okay. really important question. Uh, can we make a minor oh, illusion oh. a little cauldron hat for Holly Bay? To be our little mascot? Hang on. Mm -hmm. I could... Prestigidation, a tiny hat. But like, that would be cool. the you, tinier, like, the better. Yep. It had Marie like, and I saw some tiny snails today. Yeah. Oh my God, they were so small. They were like the size of like the point of a pencil. They were like, really tiny. They were so minuscule. It was just insane. I've never seen a snail that tiny. Small. Small. And we saw little froggies oh. Oh, and some beautiful pine Male. <laughs> Smell. <laughs> we also saw some cool hermit crabs. Yeah. Snail! Lame. Hang on, I'll it. Hermit crabs. <laughs> Do I have to renew their permit every yes. year? Oh, okay. Yes. No, but you have to renew through them. They are the ones who, oh. who um, like I have to have a permit. Through yeah, you have you have to go to them for their per for the permit to own them. Wow, mm. it's a very consensual pet ownership. It very like mutual. Yes, 
but I think I think they'll renew their contract though. You you seem to have it all set up pretty pretty well. Thank you. You, pretty did, you, you did all the research. I'm proud of you. I appreciate it. All right. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> Uh, is there anything we want to get done before jumping to that time? I mean, you wanted to take a nap? So, I mean, it's... I wanted Nymora to go to the market, although it's up to Nymora. Yeah. What um, are you getting like, from the market? Uh, like, trying to get booze. booze. Ideally booze, yes. Would I... Yeah, yeah, I'd like to go find booze. Okay. Let's uh, make sure the inn has, you know some more food and drink to keep people here. That is definitely a good thing to think of. Um, so I'll give okay. her like 10 gold. Okay. So, I don't know how much 10 gold will buy, but it'll buy something. I think I have I have Maybe. money also. So, Nymora, wa uh, give me an investigation check. Investigating... The, the town. You're looking for some place to buy alcohol. And and look, even 18 yields that the places that you would get alcohol are the tavern or the inn, and they're both out. Um, I mean... And then I'd come back to, uh, to Neve, like, in tears. I'm so sorry. I tried so hard. Um, I wonder if an alchemist can make some uh, homebrew alcohol. Hmm. Oh. I can create or destroy water. Oh, that's water, not helpful water is in drink. any way, shape, or form. Don't, don't be rude. Right. I'm pretty sure for digitation you can make things taste different. I can so make it taste like yeah. So we can yeah, just throw the, a whole bunch of water and make it taste like ale. The chicken yeah. flavored beer. Don't ale for the taste, Harold. We can do. We can do NA ale. They're gonna we be... can have an old old party. Yeah, no. I don't know. Uh, good mead is supposed to supply the alcohol to everywhere. I must. That would be where we should find some, but. Ugh. Can't get there by midnight. Yeah, you're right. I don't. Ugh. I'm not sure where to find it. I guess we'll have to relegate that to the side quest tracker. Do we have one of those? Yeah, you uh, you press tab and it pops up. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Did you just make that up? Is that a thing? <laughs> Alex's face. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm really like, need to play Skyrim. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm like, I've whoa, that would be great. For like the last. Although technically, it's escape that brings up the, the quest tracker in Skyrim. I mean, tab will get you through like most stuff on your page. Oh. Oops, no, I want that. What? I just found out how to pull up the Icewind Dale map. Oh, it's Icewind Dale. Hey, why are you playing Ant Wind 2 now? Because it just it launches when I move the map. Uh, alright. So, Slippy's there. Not her. 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 Where's Harold? Oh, there he is. All right. So you four dudes go to the town hall and wait. Where do you wait? On the inside? Yeah, we're gonna yeah. find somewhere in here. Okay, go ahead and uh, find your place. Where's the cauldron at? It's where the statue was. Okay. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna go by that. Okay. I'm not looking for. Uh... All right. Here. Uh. Yeah, oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. So.
So, uh, fast forward, it gets to be about 11 o'clock. Uh, uh, it gets to be about 11.30. Is that when you said the concert was starting? Mm -hmm. Well, Ronaldo's, you know, he's warming up for us. He's yeah, oh yeah, he's yeah, he's warming everyone up. He's starting. People are starting to come in a little bit more than before. Um, the receptionist is there, so that's good. Um, and uh, give me a performance check. Just, uh, you're going to have to keep the receptionist's attention. All right, and uh, with advantage, right? Yep, because you earned it from before. Yeah, you practiced enough. Oh, Ooh. holy whoa, you didn't even need it. Yeah, you put on an amazing show with your drum. Ronaldo is helping out. Uh, Imdra is in the back, but the amplifying system is turned off for her, so you can barely hear. You just see her. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> I'm just going to do this forever. Okay, uh, so yeah, you're doing a good show. Um, so that's, you're good. She is entertained for that first hour. Um, so it's t about 12 when the guys show up, not at the front door, but they knock at this door to the north. I'm going to go, we're going to go over and open it up. I'll go over and open it up. Yeah, I'll go with them. Yo, do, My do you order a, a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with extra pickpocketing on it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> hey, uh, uh, no, I don't know about that. Okay, cool. Are you going to let, let a brother in? It is cold out here. It's late. Of course, man. They're putting on a concert. If we can, like, get this. No, we can't go see it. God damn it. Nice try. Are you, try are, we, are you trying to steal the cauldron fast enough that we could get back and see that awesome concert? That's what I was thinking. The call, the concert that was put on so you could steal the cauldron? <laughs> no, we don't. Well, it's, a, it's the Taco Bell. They're playing potatoes again. Come on. <laughs> Uh, you can't blame the, the the lug. Come on, he likes potatoes. It's a good tune. Everybody so likes okay, look. All right, you did a good job. There's no guards here. You you fulfilled your end. Now let's get this fucking thing back to Targos. You want to help me tie this to the uh, axe beat? Yeah. I sure. mean, yeah. Let's get it. Whatever. All right. Shit. <laughs> Shit, let's let's commit some crime. You know what I'm saying, man? It's like I'm all for it, but the way you keep putting that is just really weird. <laughs> Do some crime, like not even a specific thing. Like I keep saying, it's about the money, not the crime. But whatever floats your boat, my dude. Uh, so give everyone, give me some. Well, all together, you can move it no problem. So you're just moving it out. You're tying it to this axe beak. I mean, Savaran is strong enough that he can carry this thing by himself. It's gonna be like... Well, do you want to carry it for the whole trip? This is like... Half a day walking no, I mean, down the no, east way. I absolutely don't want to do that. Okay. Well, then, it's... I'm thrilled to hear how strong you are. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Sorry, that's it's him, not me. That was incredibly douchey. <laughs> Look, you guys are into crime. You should be into insults as well. You should be able to. No, no, no. Some... I, that was you as the DM. Telling no, me that, not that. <laughs> no, it was. I was okay. Well, if you're offended, I'm sorry. I it was. I, I, it was just so snarky. <laughs> no, it was the character because you were like. I could lift that myself. And he's like, well, do you want to carry it? And you're like, no, I don't. And he's like, okay, well, cool. I'm glad you told me that you could lift that by yourself. But you, you see, I thought it was you telling me that I, like, as the DM, 
Oh, oh thriller, no, you're I wasn't trying to be douchey to you. The the guy, I was trying the, to make the, the guy, guy be okay. douchey yeah, to you. I, I misunderstood. <laughs> I thought that you were the uh, the person saying that to me, not the character. No, I, I apologize if that was your, I'm sorry. It was really funny. <laughs> so anyway, okay, so Savran is really strong and th you guys and tie. We, we, what, Harold? I said we're moving a cauldron. Hell yeah, you're moving the cauldron. Um, okay, so this this creates, uh, well, I guess they're just like, oh, they had voices. Hang on. Okay, so where's the rest of ya? Oh, you're putting on... I suppose you told me that, that you just, you set up this whole concert to uh, distract the receptionist, essentially. And so, okay, uh, are they, are we just gonna leave town without them? What is the plan here? Are we... I don't know, but we could stop it there and figure it out next week. Oh, it is, it is, you're right. I'm. That's happening. That's the end, essentially. Okay, yeah, oh, we don't need this voice, though. What is going on with that? Uh -huh. Hang on, there we go. All right. Yeah, we'll figure out what what you're doing about it next week. That's a good old ending. Whoop, whoop. Well, that's... That's interesting what you guys did with that. I had no idea where that was gonna go. I love this plan that you're pulling off. Yeah. You're just gonna right. follow them back to their headquarters. Yeah, you know? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I get it. I would just like to note that we have gone now three or four sessions without murdering somebody in cold blood. Um, yeah, that's commendable. Hey, yeah. Why murder someone in cold blood when you can murder someone in hot soup? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't pushed anybody into a fireplace. I mean, we're doing good. Alright, good yeah. night, guys. See Bye. ya. Bye. See ya. Goodbye. Eat the chips, and you will like the chips, and when you eat the chips, you will like the chips. And those chips will be so good tonight. Eat the chips. Like the chips. Here we are, you and me, singing about chips at the end of the episode. Our typical chip sing-along. Eat the chips. Like the chips. It's like my voice is like offset slightly so I can't hit the song right on the mark. Which is annoying. So, sorry about that. What do you think of the episode? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I know you're sticking around for all this whole list of songs. Because that is interesting. That's probably why you tuned in at all. Well, list is over, so no reason to stay unless you're just listening to me ramble on. But I'm going to hit stop streaming as soon as the song gets to that part.